If you really like pesto, you're not gonna wanna miss this recipe. Let's take a look at the pumpkin seed pesto. We're first gonna take and we're gonna mix together two cups of pumpkin seed shells. That's called papitas. We're then gonna take two tablespoons of olive oil, we're gonna spread it on a baking sheet, and we're gonna bake it at 375 for 10 to 15 minutes until the pumpkin seeds are puffy and lightly browned. This is what it will look like, and then you let it cool. So let's go ahead and get this started. We're gonna put it together in our KitchenAid. We're gonna add all those ingredients, and we're gonna get it mixed up. So take a look, we've got all our pumpkin seeds in the KitchenAid ready to be blended. Let's add our other ingredients. I just wanna start with the salt and pepper. Put in a little bit of that. We'll add some Himalayan salt. Don't be afraid of the salt. Now we're gonna add our other ingredients. So we're gonna add four tablespoons of olive oil to our mixture a quarter cup of water, three cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and one cup of chopped cilantro. First, we'll add our water, and then we'll add on to the other ingredients. We've got our olive oil here. This is an additional amount of olive oil from what we roasted our pumpkin seeds in. The next thing we're gonna add is our lemon juice. Here's our three cloves of chopped garlic. And finally, we're going to add our cilantro on top. Just pop that right on top like that. We're just gonna smush it all down and give it a blend. There we go. That looks pretty already. Let's snap on our top and get ready to blend. Here we go. Now that we're finished blending it, let's take this off and wow, doesn't that look amazing? That is so beautiful. Let's snap that off and use that for our crackers. I've got some seed crackers here all you gotta do for a great snack is spread some right on your crackers like that. You can serve these up with cheese or with a salad. You can serve it up with a little bit of meat, anything. Just eat them like they are. This is beautiful. Boy, it smells good too. This is a perfect vegan pesto. If you're interested in a no-nut pesto, that is done with the basil right here in Intestinal Health Book, you'll find that. Let's go and try this one. This looks amazing. You're gonna love it, especially if you're a vegan and it's gluten-free. Mmm, mmm, mm-hmm. That's super good. And it's gluten-free crackers. So it's high in fiber, high in protein, Great flavor and taste, all your guests are gonna love it.